Hey guys, today I have a very important topic that I want to address. As some of you may or may not know, April is Sexual Assault Awareness and Prevention Month. Now, as a part of that, some people have started doing several different campaigns during the month of April in order to raise awareness for sexual assault and, and to raise knowledge on how sexual assault can be prevented and to really start educating people on the matter. Since it is already April, and I actually meant to get this video up earlier in the month, but I just never got around to it. However. I am doing several things this month which I would like to invite all of you to participate in, one of which is Red My Lips. The goal of Red My Lips is to really raise awareness and to speak out against victim blaming, which if you don't know what victim blaming is, it's pretty much looking at someone who says that they have been raped or assaulted and saying, well, well you know, you were drunk so we can't really do anything. or well, you were wearing a short dress, so sorry. That's victim blaming. And it is something that, as a society, we need to get better at. Because even my, I myself can fall into that trap. Because I've been blessed enough to never have been a victim of sexual assault or sexual violence. Thank goodness. But I know a lot of people aren't. So, for me to look at someone and be like, well she's wearing a short dress so she must just like ask for it or something without knowing anything about the person anything about their story not even knowing the person themselves is very hypocritical and it's very hurtful to our society so that's something that i personally am trying to get better about and it's an everyday conscious effort and I would like to invite all of you to also start doing that, to kind of just be aware of what you're thinking. Some people who are participating in Red My Lips will only wear red lipstick one time during the month because they either never wear red lipstick or they never wear lipstick at all. But since I personally wear red lipstick at least like once a week, I've decided to wear red lipstick throughout the entirety of the month. So, any videos that I make this month, I will be sporting the red lip. So, that's kind of why. I have several tips as to how to get started in wearing red lipstick or to become more comfortable, and I also have a few recommendations as to a good first time red lipstick. For me personally, I started wearing red lips more after wearing darker reds or pinks or berries. So a really good example of this is something that I will I will be wearing throughout the duration of the month and it is the Sephora Crayon in Peony. And this uh, in a holiday set, I don't know if you can get it. It's just a very nice pinkish red color. So I'd suggest looking for something like that. Or Another really good one is something that's a little more sheer. Um, one that I've recently found is the Wet n Wild lipstick in hot red. The number is 519A, in case you're wondering. And that is much more sheer. Here, I'll just do one swipe. So there it is with one swipe. Let me build it up for you. And there it is built up. And I especially think that the Wet n Wild option is really good because it is so affordable. However, just as a word of warning, since these lipsticks tend to stick up a bit, even when they're rolled down all the way, that you will have to be careful putting the lid back on because if you're anal like I am, the lid might get lipstick marks on it for a bit, which can be a bit frustrating, but you kind of live with it. Another recommendation I have, if you typically don't even wear any type of bold lip, you just go for a nude or like a My Lips But Better color, I'd recommend just trying even a berry color. And one that's really good is Bad Habit from ColourPop. And that is what Bad Habit looks like. If you want something that won't move for the duration of the day, I would recommend a liquid lip. 
so the ColourPop liquid lip or I have two reds that I really recommend one of which is the hard candy velvet velvet mousse matte lip color and this you can find at Walgreens and this is in the color tulip I really like this formula it's very almost moussey and I feel that it's very wearable it reminds me a lot in texture of the NYX soft matte lip creams if you've ever tried those if you haven't it just kind of glides on it feels very soft and smooth it dries down to give the appearance of a matte but it doesn't dry down completely so it will still transfer on cups or if you wipe your lips with a napkin or something it will still come off and there is tulip if you are like me and you kind of like to splurge a bit on lipsticks or if you are anticipating wearing red more often than just for the month I really recommend kind of putting a few more dollars into it just because reds are one of those things you don't want to bleed outside your lip lines or to go wonky or anything like that and so I'd personally really really recommend the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in American Doll. I recently got this and I am in love with it. It is a true red without any like really yellowy or undertones or anything like that which is nice because it will make your teeth look whiter. So there's American Doll. Now with American Doll you do have to remember that it will dry down to a complete matte. So if you have dry lips on any particular day, I wouldn't recommend wearing a matte lip just because they can get very, I don't know, they have a tendency to make your lips more dry. If you like something that has a bit of sparkle in it and you don't want to mess around with the lip gloss for fear of it messing with the lip, I'd recommend Kat Von D Adora. I actually need to get a new one of these because mine's kind of sad right now. And there is Adora. And a lot of my friends have actually referred to it as my ruby red slipper lipstick or my Dorothy lipstick. So that kind of gives you a true idea of how it looks. Now the lipstick that I personally will be wearing throughout the most days during this project will be Max Steam Heat. This is in a, pro a project's pan I'm currently working on. It's 17 by 2017, so I'm working on finishing up 20, no, not 27, 17 products by January 1st, and this is one of them. Mac is not cruelty free, which is a reason why I did put it in this project. However, let me just swatch this for you. This is a more of a yellow based red compared to American Doll. So there you can see on the bottom is steam heat compared to the other reds and options that I've shown. Now I know all these red lips that I have probably seem excessive and it probably is, but red lipsticks are the one thing that I feel like I can go out and buy any day just because I love wearing red lipsticks so much. And I have three or four at home still that I didn't bring with me up to college so that kind of gives you an idea of how many I own but anyway moving on I would really encourage you all to participate just because I feel like as a society this is something that yeah wearing red lipstick might not make a big difference but if it can start a conversation or change at least one person's mind or raise awareness about it, then I feel like that's enough. So I hope you all have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!